silicone is going to give you a more natural look and a more natural feel. Um, the implant itself is, is a little bit softer and it, it maintains its shape a little bit better. Saline, um, on the other hand, is a natural substance. Um, if a saline implant ruptures, you're going to know it immediately because the breast is going to go flat, whereas if a silicone implant was to rupture or leak, you may not know it because this, the uh, body will naturally wall off that uh, leaking silicone, so you may not know it. Um, silicone implants are a little bit more expensive than saline implants, um, but they carry a little bit better warranty as well. Um, all implants are warrantied for life for the actual implant, but both saline and silicone carry a 10-year warranty to help cover the facility and anesthesia charges as well to go in and replace the implants. So the reason why the uh, FDA took silicone implants off the shelf was because there were some unwarranted claims that they caused some immunologic problems with patients. However, they've done many randomized controlled studies and have completely refuted that and shown that that is not at all true and that silicone implants are completely safe and they were brought back on the, on the, on the market for that reason.